Today is a special day over at Yale graduation. I'm sure there are many great stories coming out of the day, but none could be more compelling and inspiring than Brett Smith's. He was originally in the class of 06, and while his graduation was delayed six years, even his doctors are shocked that it happened at all. I just tell myself every day that, look, I mean, it's, you, you have an option. You, you can um, either <clears throat> feel sorry for yourself or get better. Simple as that. Brett Smith is choosing the latter. He came to Yale in the fall of 2002 as a top-notch student and top-notch football player. Played quarterback and defensive back for the JV team until his playing days and nearly his life came to a crashing halt. There's a lot of blood, a lot of injuries. The roof of the vehicle was sheared off. The front end of the vehicle was heavily damaged. Tom Hackley witnessed the fatal crash. Nine Yale students, including Smith, were on their way back from New York in an SUV. A jackknife tractor trailer set off a chain reaction of collisions that included the SUV. Four of the Yale students were killed. Smith was among the survivors, but barely. I broke every bone in my face except my mandible, um, this bone. Um, I broke my sternum, my um, uh, left clavicle, or my, um, yeah, it was separated, excuse me. Um, and I broke my um, uh, frontal bone up here, or um, did it in. Which created a traumatic brain injury, left him in a coma for weeks after the accident. My dad saw the, um, uh, the cat, or excuse me, the uh, MRI. He was sick to his stomach because he was like, how in the world is he going to function? Because it was that bad. His father is a doctor and knew the challenges his son faced. Brett had to relearn how to speak, how to regain use of the whole right side of his body. Brett knew the injuries ended his football days, but his goal was to return to Yale, a goal many doubted, even one of his doctors. She's like, you can't go back to um, Yale. You, there's no way. And I was like, how can you make that statement? It was very disheartening to hear um, someone say that, but at the same time, it was very, um, I'm going to prove this person wrong. One doctor told Brett's parents that he would never recover, that they should put him in a home and move on with their lives. The comment I would get from everybody is, well, what home is he in? You know, where is he placed? I said, well, he's placed at Yale. <laughs> We're very proud of what he's accomplished. Still has a lot to work on, and some things will never be totally normal, but he's come so far and it should give a lot of people hope. He still suffers from short-term memory loss, walks with the limp, and has limited use of his right hand, but he overcomes. He writes with his left hand now about as well as he did with his right. To ever conceive that he was actually going to come back and graduate from Yale, I don't know if that was really fathomable at that time, to be honest. His coach at Yale, Jack Sidlecki, visited him a year after the accident. He had some serious, serious physical issues. He obviously had some, you know, mental issues that he was recovering from. And uh, this is pretty miraculous what he's done over these years. I had to just relearn how to do everything over again. And it was, just, it was hard. I mean, I, I can't um, explain how hard it was. I mean, it is still hard um, because in some respects, I'm lacking in um, some areas. Nearly 10 years later, here you are, yeah. back at Yale. What does it mean to you to know you're, you're graduating? It, 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 it's very special. Few people will face the obstacles Brett Smith did, and only few might be able to overcome them. And now, Brett Smith becomes one of the few to say they graduated from Yale. And now he says he wants to go to med school. He wants to be a rehab doctor. Certainly, it's a subject he knows well. Wow, having been through him. it, yeah. he's a strong man. Oh yeah, not a lot of people would have made it through that. Yeah. No. All right, no, thank Thanks. you.